All right, so we're back with another reaction video for you guys. Now, before we get started, uh, folks, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button. Also, smash that like button. Just do it right now. It only takes a quick second. It's absolutely free, folks. So go ahead, smash that like button, and then uh, subscribe to the channel. So today we're going to be uh, talking about Tall Guy car reviews. It's been a while since we dropped a video about Tall Guy, but he just dropped a video, as you guys can see, uh, two days ago. And you can see these big gaps in between his uploads. Like the last video, at least on his uh, channel, is like two months ago. But in fact, there's actually been two other videos that he actually uh, deleted. I don't think, I don't know if he deleted them or private them. And this is another thing you actually notice. If you guys, uh, if you watch his videos, you obviously know this already. But if you didn't, uh, you can see it in the description section under all the last probably i want to say the last 10 videos they're all sponsored all right this man is only doing content he's not even doing content because the video that he dropped from two days ago the dumbest thing i've ever done that's just basically a bunch of clips if you've been watching his uh, love and slim channel you will know that um those are like a bunch of videos that are already on the love and slim channel he just kind of slapped them together to make this like 50 minute long video and it's being sponsored by, I think, DraftKings or something like that. All these videos right here, all these videos are being sponsored. All right, so he's only doing content. I think he's not making enough money off of these YouTube videos. So he's just waiting for any kind of sponsorship. And then he just kind of come up with any kind of video. It just looks like there's no creativity, no substance. That last video, like I was just saying, that's just a bunch of clips from the Love and Slim channel. He kind of like slapped together. You know, just poor editing. But his channel is sinking. It's sinking pretty bad. Like, he's in the uh, single digits. It's that bad, folks. It's pretty bad. Uh, and I don't even think this is updated because you can see here it says average video views, very low, 6.7% of subscribers, which is about 57,000 views. But if you look at his last video, that video barely has like 20,000 views. And it's already been two days. And it's usually like in the first, like in the first like 24 hours is where you get the biggest impact of views. And then as time goes on, you might, you know, just depending on if your content goes viral or if something happens that is sort of re like related to that video spikes up. But his content is just pretty much a bunch of clips, like I was saying, that are just slapped together from his Love and Slim channel. So his, his content is is bad there's no creativity no substance and the channel is sinking like i was thinking man you could have just sold this damn channel you got eight hundred thousand subscribers why couldn't you just sell the channel if you're not gonna do you're not gonna put it to good use but as you guys can see there's two other videos right here that didn't do that well one got like twelve thousand views one got like fifteen thousand views and it says delete it all right, so this is why you, the last video you see on the channel is like two months ago, but there was actually two other videos in between driving like 12 plus hours on the Autobahn in Germany and then sleeping in a car. So I guess those videos didn't do that well in terms of views. So he took them down. But you can see all these videos are all sponsored. So this is the one I was just talking about, the dumbest thing I've, I've ever done, why I don't post videos anymore. And I actually saw the video. I was like, hold on. This is like some of the same stuff I saw on the Love and Slim channel. Why am I watching this same shit again? Uh, so, yeah, this one is sponsored by DraftKings. Like, I'm like, what is going on? This man said that um, there was like a video he dropped about why he quit YouTube. And he was talking about starting a trucking business. Let's actually listen to that video. Let's uh, check this video out. This way you guys can actually hear, you know, words coming out of his own mouth. Because I'm pretty sure he said he was starting a trucking business. And then now, recently, he said he was doing real estate. Like, like what does this man exactly do? He keeps saying he's got, he's got all these businesses behind the scenes. He's going to uh, unveil the curtains. And I, I know, I think he's a, he's a pretty good guy. But I think he'd just be capping. Like, him and Organic be capping like crazy. They just be preaching all this nonsense, trying to pretend like they're you know, positive motivational leaders, but it's starting to look like it's all cap. All right. These people don't got no damn businesses. They just really depend on these sponsorships and these merch and these crypto coins or whatever. But you can see all his last couple of videos, tall guys, like last 10 videos are all sponsored. 
So he's just really doing any kind of content at this point just to get a sponsorship. And uh, in case you guys are wondering, you know, because I actually was approached by a couple of these like sponsors and uh, I was getting offers like anywhere between $1,000 to about $3,500. And I'm like a really small channel. But um, my subscriber retention is like in the double digits. So I'm like probably like around like 15, 20% where tall guys like in the single digits right now because he just doesn't have any content or I guess people just lost interest in his channel at this point because it's no longer a car based channel. He's no longer doing reviews, which is pretty much what his content was really based on. Um, but let's check out this video talking about this trucking business with his brother. Whatever happened to trucking? Like, I, I know that the trucking industry didn't just stop all of a sudden. You're right, negative going, getting everything mm -hmm. situated, mm -hmm. ready to go. My brother took a huge leap of faith. Yeah. Came from Minnesota, stopped being a police officer mm -hmm. to uh, come here to start our new business that we just started, which okay. is? We got a semi truck business. Just to throw this disclaimer out there too, we filmed a bunch of content, uh, you know, getting the permit, getting the CDL, yep. uh, everything, like we're all going through the process of getting this permit, CDL, yep. my wife, everything. So it's like, let me be a real, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's already official, we already got our EIN number. For those who don't know the EIN number, that's a tax number to do your taxes, different things. We already got our LLC made. We got our own authority. Yep. You know, um, we just got everything. Everything's been brewing and going on behind the scenes. So sorry for the hiatus and not putting no videos on my channel. But you know, we transitioned. Yeah. You transitioned from being a cop. Yeah. And I transitioned from just doing car content on YouTube and transitioned into different things. And um, it's definitely a lot of hard work. A lot of work. And I was boxing, I was hard at a full camp. That's crazy. It was tough. Yeah, I dropped some weight and stuff, but yeah. got all that done. Now we back on the grinding to make this happen. So. And I just noticed that his brother, um, I don't know if his name is Daryl or Derry or whatever his name is, Officer Jones. That's what I think he goes by on YouTube. Like, if you actually look at his channel, he wiped out his entire channel. His, enchi his entire channel is like, there's only like, like nine videos or something like that. Like, he took down all the videos. Um, so I thought that was a little bit bizarre. Like, did he go back to being an officer or something? Like, what happened with trucking? But I just gotta give a huge shout out to my brother to be able to do what he did. You know, like, that's why I would say people leave some pay for everything. You know what I'm saying? God can only do his part as long as you do yours. Yeah. You know what I mean? No change can be created if you don't create the change within yourself first. You know what I'm saying? So for my brother to go from being a cop, doing a 95 every single day, but having dreams and aspirations and goals to do so much more, but the cop lifestyle just didn't fit your... You can tell his brother is like, his, his brother is the one that seems to be like, like, he seems like a pretty good guy. I mean, Tall Guy is a pretty good guy as well when you compare him to Organic. Organic is a certified clown. Um, but Tall Guy... Tall Guy and, uh, and his brothers... Most of his brothers, they seem like pretty good people. But Tall Guy caps a lot. Um, like, trucking... What happened to trucking? Yeah. And what you want to uh, achieve for yourself, what you want to achieve for you and your wife and for your daughter. Yeah. Right? So you got to take a leap of faith to stop being a cop in order to do what we're doing right now. Not only do what we're doing right now, yeah. but to also become a professional boxer. Yeah. So. Who do you know? Like, let's, let's just, I, I know the same thing about these people, but I just, I'm sorry, I give my brother's glory. Who do you know that will stop you having a job with real benefits? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like real person. A lot of people get caught up on the benefits and everything. Crazy. Talk to him about it because it's really hard. He, yeah. Yeah, and I ain't going to need to put your other cop information out there, but he had a cop that quit, moved the whole life, wanted to take a leap of faith, came back and became a cop again. Yeah. It's a scary world out there. It's a scary world when you got here, you no longer have that steady paycheck coming in. You used to that, you need the benefits, you know. It's a steady paycheck, that's pretty much all it is. You get, you know, you get comfortable with that paycheck, and you, you know the job, and it's safe, you know what I'm saying, and taking that leap, and want to do something else, it's super hard, man. And once you get out here, you know what I'm saying, it gets even harder, but it's like, <laughs> a, different, it's like a different lifestyle, so I don't know, if it's better what I'm trying to do for the future, then what I would be doing if I still police officer in the long run, so 100%. You know, what What he's saying is, is pretty true, um, but you gotta know, like, when you watch these guys, like Tall Guy and Organic, you really have to you have to look at everything. You have to put everything into perspective. And these guys don't put anything in perspective. They just talk a whole bunch of nonsense talking about take leaps of faith. Yeah, you can take leaps of faith, but it doesn't mean you can stop everything you're doing unless you're in a position to take that leap. So if you don't have savings for six months, at least six months, do not take any kind of action. All right. If you're if your bank account has only like ten dollars or twenty dollars and you're living paycheck to paycheck, taking a leap of faith isn't gonna is not gonna be the right decision. You gotta stop listening to these fake individuals that don't know what they're talking about. They're just like making content to make content. Um so don't don't make a big decision unless you have enough savings. Um because things can backfire. Like or like tall guy. Tall guy said he was gonna do trucking. 
Has he actually done trucking? You can look up any company nationwide. Tall guy doesn't have a trucking company. He doesn't have a real estate license. So he is depending on somebody. So he took all these leaps of faith and they pretty much backfired. So I think he's pretty much living off of uh, Jasmine. Jasmine is the one really paying all the bills. Um, if Jasmine is not there, what is taking a leap of faith going to do for you? You guys got to stop. You know, I figured I, I had to I had to change my uh, content around to give you guys like some uh, some perspective so you guys don't fall victims to this nonsense. These guys are just spilling out some nonsense, trying to tell you guys, take a leap of faith, uh, do organic says uh, manifestations or whatever, all that nonsense he'd be preaching. Like all that stuff is baloney. All right. Tall guy and organic have other sources of money that they depend on. Like tall guy has Jasmine. Organic has merch. He can promote all kinds of meme coins. He can do all kinds of sponsorships. Regular people can't do that. So if you don't have six months of savings, save, don't take a leap of faith. All right, don't, don't listen to these fools. They don't know what they're talking about. It's all gonna come together. It's the, um, the way the picture is there. That's what it is. It's only to happen. That's all, that's all I can say. I'm excited, I'm excited about the new journey, new chapter. Yeah. Make it up. And please, subscribe to my brother, follow my Instagram, and give him all the praise he deserves. You know, he deserves all the glory because to be able to do that, you're helping with this and everything like that. And, uh, ooh, I'm my niece. Um, that's that's extremely really hard. You know what I'm saying? So, like, to, for my brother to be able to do that is everything. You know, and it should be looked at as a tool of inspiration and motivation. You okay, my niece? <laughs> everybody has it in them to do that, but not everybody is willing to dig deep enough to get to that spot to find out what your niche is in order to get rich. You know what I'm saying? Like, God has given everybody their own gifts and abilities that they can really tap into. Everybody has it, but not everybody's willing to dig deep enough to figure out what it is or what it is that they're made of. You know what I'm saying? And he did that. So I got to give it to my brother for that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm gonna be able to do it. I'm sure. I mean, likewise, bro. It's crazy, man. It's, it's hard right. to make that. Leap. There's a lot of people that work a job they don't like it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're not happy because it's safe. Because it's safe. It's yeah. scary. It's like a leap. It's scary, man. In general, to do something different. And to do it with a kid and yeah. a wife. Yeah. There's so much more. Like I took my leap of faith when I moved from Minnesota to Colorado to LA, and you know, but your shots are like I wouldn't be able to do it. I hurt. Yeah. Again, all this leap of faith nonsense they be talking about. Um, Officer Jones, his his wife is a nurse. All right, she's a nurse. She's in healthcare. So even if he took a leap of faith, she didn't take a leap of faith. So they still have another source of income. So although Officer Jones and he, Officer Jones seems like a very diligent person, you can tell by the way he talks, by his personality. So I'm pretty sure he's probably got a lot of money saved up. Um, I mean, there's only so much you can save being an officer, but he based on the way he's talking, the way he presents himself, or he carries himself, you can tell that um, he has a plan. He just didn't, he's not out here just jumping, you know, taking these like crazy leaps of faith. You got to have a real plan. Otherwise, um, this is how people go homeless. A lot of people don't just go homeless because um, because uh, they lose their job. No, because they. some of them make stupid decisions, but some of them actually think, oh, I'm going to take this leap of faith, you know. I'm going to stop working at this fast food restaurant because I want to become an astronaut. Like, come on now. Like, you got to be realistic um, with your decision making. Like, I feel like tall guy's real calling is to become a motivational speaker. Like, you should just do something like Tony Robbins and just sell that. That's what Tony Robbins does, right? All he does is, like, create these events and get on stage and try to motivate you guys with words. But words mean nothing really um, unless you have an action plan behind it, unless you have a team tall guy it seems like everybody that was around him just disappeared like what happened to TJ Millionaire Mentor that guy just like they just disappeared um, all the cars on his channel disappeared organic look like he's falling apart like shit is not looking too good the image they're putting out on social media is not looking too good now, again, you don't know if they got work things working on behind the scenes, but you can tell that it's not really a whole lot going on. No, no question. She's really holding down. 100% yes, she is. It's An AARP Medicare supplement plan. Yeah, I did it all different. Well, it's a jungle. Yeah. You know, and only the strong will survive. It's expensive. Like, super. <laughs> That's the part of the deal. It's expensive just to be out here. Yeah. But the opportunities that help me out here just, you know, can't, can't match it. Yeah, it's, 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 it's like yeah. I'll do work or something. There's too many opportunities here just for, for success. A lot of resources. A lot of resources. 
you know, and it just depends on what you're coming for too. Yeah. You know, if you're coming out here and you're coming to party and play and then try to say you want to be successful, like that's not gonna work out too well because there's too many. You gonna be at a party? Or you're talking to me. You gonna be at a party too that much? You know what I mean? And that's the thing. So you gotta come here, locked in and ready to go, not playing. With a plan. With a plan. We don't even play with ourselves. So you think we're gonna play? You know what I'm saying? Somebody else play with us at our time and what we're trying to contribute to this world and to ourselves and for the foundation and the groundwork that we're trying to lay for the future. Like, so you gotta come out here with a real master plan. And he did that. I did that. And it's not hard. And I think people watching me on YouTube or watching you, it can look really easy, but it's really hard. There's a lot of physical battles you gotta go through. There's a lot of mental battles. The mental is the hardest. Mental is hard. The financial is super hard too. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because you gotta take this to pay for that too. Yeah, you gotta, yeah. Money's on the line. It's yeah. different when it's your money. Oh yes. Yeah. 100%. So we've done that, you know, and now we're able to lay the groundwork and we didn't want to cover our eggs before they hatched. So we wanted to make sure everything was done. All T's were crossed and the I's were dotted before we made this video. And um, that's what a huge thing to me making car content as well. But it's okay though, like you got to make sacrifices in different places. You're not going to be able to be great at the highest magnitude and all that. It's a process. It's a lot of stuff I can you got to do. Yeah. Hundred percent. It's like you can't have this over here busting and then over here start this. And in the perfect world, everything was just perfectly aligned. But sometimes you gotta sacrifice yeah. time and even the videos and the car content and what I'm doing to start something new. Because at the end of the day, like I'm not gonna do cars for the rest of my life. As much as people might want that, you know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, I'm bigger than just cars. You know, everybody's ever subscribed to my channel, they subscribe to me for more than just cars. You know what I mean? Like you came here, poured a car, the car might have pulled them in to get them to click. Yeah. But you're sticking and rocking with me through it all because yeah. it's, it's because of me. And when I'm bringing more than just the cars, you see, there's a many people in cars and just focus on just cars, but you know nothing about their personal life. They've been transparent with you with nothing. They've given you no inspiration, no motivation, no fuel to keep going, no jealousy. I mean, I agree with what he's trying to say, but that's that doesn't work on social media. Like it just doesn't work um, because people came to watch car content. They want to see car content. If you decide, hey, you know what? I just want to start a cooking show now on my channel. It's not going to work. Yeah, although they might like you because you're a great guy, that's not what they want to waste their time watching, right? If people got an hour to waste, they want to watch car content, they want to watch you do car reviews, they don't give a shit about you doing, uh, you know, cookings or whatever. Like, if you decide, hey, I'm going to switch things, some people might stick around to, you know, just see what's new um, or what you have decided to do with your channel, but a lot of people ain't going to stick around. And you can see that right now because now he just took it, he just switched it to tall guy and it ain't looking too good, folks. I mean, you can see the numbers speak for themselves. Isn't that what they say? Men lie, women lie, numbers don't lie. His channel is not doing good. Going traveling and all this nonsense he's doing, I ain't gonna, yeah, it's gonna, maybe a couple of videos. I was watching a couple of videos before, but once you drop like 20 of them, I think it's pretty boring like nobody really cares i do a lot of traveling i could have easily recorded all these vlogs it's so easy like i can go to france i can go to germany i can go to switzerland again record videos but once you watch like one or two or three videos like people don't want to watch that shit they want to watch car content um i don't know what he's talking about to be honest i think he should just stick with his calling which is motivational diarrhea talking no game, anything. You know nothing about them other than what they do with cars. They want to do more than just one thing. Like even now, even though I do cars, y'all came for so much more. But I still do car content. It's like a blend of both. You tap in for both. But the thing is, is you're gonna get so much more. And I'm gonna do what I want to do when I want to do it. However, I want to do it. See, I with my niece right there. You see what I'm saying? So it's like we're expanding into different things. And this semi business is just one of the many. We still got so many other things going on behind the scenes that we're working on as well. But this is the first one that we have manifested that's here in real life, and we're doing this. You know, yeah. and um. <laughs> You know, like I said, in the apartment, CDL, uh, shopping for trucks, just different things that we're going to like spread out throughout this month um, to let y'all just see in between the car content and let y'all share this and go on this journey with us. It's not going to be for everybody, but for the ones who it is for, they're going to tap in, they're going to appreciate it, they're going to really enjoy what we're giving because we're laying a real blueprint, a real foundation right now. Honestly, I mean, at the end of the day, YouTube I always felt like just to inspire somebody. I mean, you might be one person out there who's like thinking about quitting or starting a business or doing something. You just hope that you inspire one person or somebody, you know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's all worth it. It's all worth it because you never know, man. You might be in a position right now where you think it's like you just hate it or you're miserable and there's no way out, but there always is, man. You just find what you can do with it. Speaking of they're what they're talking about, oh, we're laying a plan, so we're motivating people. All this motivational bullshit they be talking about. Like, what plan? You guys didn't even start a trucking company. You did all this talk and all these videos and then disappeared. <laughs> he disappeared for a couple months, came back, and then said he wanted to do real estate. It's like what happened to trucking it's not like the trucking industry came to a complete stop i mean trucking is still working right now how, how else do you think all these grocery stores get filled up with grocery f with food um how do you think businesses are functioning without the trucking business all i hear is a bunch of excuses i feel like he's just doing all this shit for content but there is no business um 
because this video was like what a couple a couple months ago or maybe a year ago and then he dropped like 30 videos about trucks looking at trucks at dealerships getting his cdl and all this bullshit baloney so it's just like it's just all talk and this is what i mean like talk is cheap unless you guys have a real plan like don't this is this is a good example of what they just did to you guys. Like, you guys are continuing to watch these clowns. Stop listening to people that don't have any real receipts. He just got on video, says, I'm going to give you guys the blueprint on how to start a trucking business. And you'll see us go through, you know, how, to, how we can build this business from the ground up. And then what happened? Nothing happened. All right. So everybody that watched this stuff, thinking they're going to be able to do the same thing, is probably disappointed right now. And this is what I said. Stop. When they say take a leap of faith, don't. You got to take a leap of faith with a plan. All right. Otherwise, if you have no plan, you have no money in your savings account, you decide, hey, you know, I'm working at a bank as a teller, but my dream is I want to start a business. And then you quit your job. And then uh, you try to get your LLC and all this EIN stuff that they be. Uh, that's that's pretty much basic stuff you have to get with any business. But then you start your business and you're not generating any kind of income, any kind of revenue. How are you going to pay your bills? Like, you guys got to have a real brain. You got to think about things. You got to stop listening. Well, I'm going to I'm going to manifest it. I'm going to take a leap of faith and it's just going to magically work. It's not going to magically nothing magically works like that. Leaps of faith don't work unless you have a plan. Um, there's a lot of risk involved with businesses. All right, you don't know. It's so unpredictable. It's not like working a nine to five and guaranteed, oh, you're going to make X amount of money every two weeks. A business doesn't work like that. You might not make any money for two years. You might not make any money for five years. You might not make money for six months. You might be breaking even. You might have uh, supplier chain issues depending on your business. Like these guys don't know what they're talking about. These are not real businessmen. All right, these are YouTubers making fake videos pretending to be businessmen all right and this is what happened this is the result when they have no real business they quit all right because it makes their image look bad and now it makes his image look really bad because everything he's talked about was all not real this man is not a real businessman sat on video made all these videos talking about trucking this trucking that real estate this real estate that and then vanished like what, what what are you guys watching these clowns for? These guys are not real businessmen. They don't know what they're talking about. They have no businesses. They have no insight on how to run a business. These guys are just selling the idea to you. All right, there's many of these like channels where they get on video, they're trying to sell you a product on how to run a, a six-figure monthly income on Amazon or whatever, and the product is the book or the course or whatever. You guys got to stop getting fooled by these idiots they're just making complete fools out of you guys um but yeah so there is no trucking there is no real estate and now there's no youtube now there's i guess doing a whole lot of traveling and then before you know it, they're gonna sell you on the idea that you can make money traveling it's just like as much as as i think that tall guy's a good guy i think he still caps a lot like, I just think he just he just talks to talk, um, but really has no clue what he's talking about. All right. Because he's not clearly he's not he's he's never had a real business. Um, and he's just really out here misleading people. Him and organic are really misleading people. Organic is taking advantage of people. At least tall guy doesn't really take advantage of anybody. But um you guys got to be careful. And if you're going to take a leap of faith, make sure you you have at least, at the very minimum, six months of savings in case shit hits the fan, in case your business falls apart. Then you at least have six months to go on until you get back on your feet or when you decide, hey, you know what? I'm not going to do a business anymore. I'm just going to go find another job or go back to my original job or whatever. But don't take a leap of faith thinking, oh, you know, it just... I'm just going to quit today and I'm going to start my business tomorrow and then the money's just going to start flowing in. This shit doesn't really work like that. Most businesses fail. Like 80, 90% of businesses fail within the first year. So that's the best advice I can give you guys. But uh, let me know what you guys think in the uh, comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching.